subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use a cool effect in Microsoft PowerPoint and the effect is called the Morph Effect. Now, let's set the scene. Uh, let's say you've got a presentation to deliver and the presentation is about different countries in the world. So, and you want to focus on different countries um, because that's what your presentation is about. So what I've got here is a map of the world on one PowerPoint slide. However, what I want to do during my presentation is focus on different countries within that picture. So the four countries I'm going to focus on today in my video are China, Australia, Brazil and Canada. However, one, when I am um, focusing or talking about those countries in my PowerPoint presentation, I want the PowerPoint slide to emphasize and focus on each country. So zoom in essentially into each country whilst I'm talking about those countries. Otherwise, if I'm just pointing at a specific country in this map here, it can be quite um, overcrowded. Um, and the, the, the audience could get lost looking at other countries. However, I want their focus to be on the countries I'm talking about. So this is what we do. So the first thing I do is I've got a picture here of the map of the world and I want to resize that picture to fit the whole slide. So I'm gonna do that now. So now it fits the whole slide. This is a good quality 4K quality picture. The second thing I need to do on the left side here is I want to duplicate that first slide because I want to add the morph effect to the countries I'm going to be talking about. So to add the morph effect, the first thing I need to do is a few steps you need to follow. Highlight the slide, right click and duplicate the slide like this. So I've duplicated the slide. I'm just going to zoom out of this second slide, which is the duplicate slide. Because I want China to be the focus of my first country, I want to enlarge the picture, make China the focus so I'm going to enlarge the picture so China covers the majority of that slide there like this let's do that a bit more so China is the country I'm going to be talking about in my PowerPoint presentation a little bit more uh, I think that's I think I've got that let me zoom out a little bit more so I can see how much of the background is actually how much of the slide it's actually taking yeah, that's about right. So China is the first country. The second country we said was going to be Australia. So I'm going to duplicate this slide to here. Right click, duplicate slide. So I've highlighted the third slide and this third slide is going to be all about Australia. So select my picture, move my map here. Let me zoom out a little bit more and then make the focus Australia. Now the next country, is, the third country is going to be Brazil. So again, same process applies. Highlight the picture or the slide, right click, duplicate slide here. Now I need to move the picture across so Brazil is covering the slide like that, nearly there. There you go. And the fourth country is going to be, um, we mentioned it was going to be Canada. So again, same process, right click duplicate slide so it's going to be Canada highlight the picture again move the picture down like this so Canada Canada even can't say it is the emphasis or the focus of my discussion or my presentation like that so those are my four countries you've got China let me just go into slideshow mode slideshow from beginning or F5 or down here let's just do from beginning here. So my the introduction is going to be talking about the map of the world. Then I'm going to focus on the different countries. So the first one's going to be China. Second one's going to be Australia. Third one's going to be Brazil. The fourth one is going to be Canada. Now you can see already, fair enough, the focus is going to each country. However, to add the morph effect to these countries, um, actually, what I'm going to do right at the end, I'm going to go back to the map of the world because I want to summarize um, and end my presentation by talking about 
the majority of the countries in the world. So go back to my first slide here and I want to duplicate that because that's going to be my summary there and drag that du duplicate slide right to the bottom there. So I'll start off my presentation talking about all of them. Go to um, China, Australia, Brazil, Canada, end up by talking about all the countries again. Now to add the morph, there's another few steps you need to do. Um, so highlight the last slide like that. Put your finger on the shift button on your keyboard like this. Then select all the way up to slide two because that's where I want the morph to start from slide two onwards. Let go of the shift button. Now the next thing you need to do at the top in the ribbon here, go to transitions and then choose in the transition to the slide section, you want to choose morph, which is essentially the second option. Click on morph and now hopefully the morphing has been applied to the slides that you have selected. Now to test this to see, to see if this has worked, um, go back to slideshow at the top ribbon, then choose from beginning or click F5 or click down here to start, start the slideshow mode. But I'm going to go from beginning to ensure it's starting from the beginning. Click on that. Now your presentation started by talking about all the countries. Then hopefully when I click on enter, it's zoomed into China. So the morph effect has taken place. Then it's, you're talking about Australia. Then you talk about Brazil on the map. Then the fourth country is Canada. Then it's going to zoom out again. After you've finished your talk about Canada, like this, and you end up you end up end your presentation talking about all the countries, or however you want to end your presentation. So that's just a quick and easy video showing you how to add the morph and zoom effect in Microsoft PowerPoint. Really useful. It will allow the audience to engage with your PowerPoint pr presentation, especially if you want them to focus on certain elements in a specific um, picture, image, phot photograph, or you can even apply morph to text as well. I might do some more videos later on showing you how to apply um, the morphing effect on texts, um, different types of texts and different icons, how you can get one icon to morph into another icon so on and so forth i might do those later on but that's just a basic video how to add the morphing effect on a picture in microsoft powerpoint i hope you found this video helpful please like subscribe and share